Hello everybody, my name's Nicola and welcome to The Frugal Cottage where we talk all things money to help you on your financial journey. Today's video is all about how to start a portfolio with free trade. Now if you've watched my videos before, you will know that I'm aiming for early retirement and creating a dividend income stream of a thousand pound a month. I will leave a link to those videos below if you've not seen them already. Today's video is me just doing a bit of an experiment with something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So I already have an investment ISA with Hargreaves Lansdowne. I've had that since I started investing back in 2016 and that holds 99% of our early retirement savings investments that will fund our early retirement lifestyle. However, I wanted to try something a bit different, but I didn't want to do it within my stocks and shares ISA, purely because the platform that I have doesn't allow this as of yet, and I also wanted to try a different platform to see how things would go. So about two months ago, I opened a free trade account. I actually used a referral link, which got me a free share in that. So I've got what they call the general investment account. And I will show you the process of how I am now using this app as a bit of an experiment. My aim for this is to add money from my side hustles as and when I feel I want to and purchase individual companies that I wouldn't necessarily invest in in my stocks and shares ISA. And the reason for that is that FreeShare do something called fractional shares so you don't have to have enough money to buy one whole share you can buy bits of them so for bigger companies as you'll see in a second it's easier to invest in those even if you don't have enough money to buy one share of those so i'm going to show you my very very small portfolio on free trade as it stands at the moment but this is just for me a bit of an experiment so this is not any kind of recommendation but this is also money that I'm willing to lose. And you'll see I've been putting about five pound in at a time. So it's not a lot of money. It's not something that I'm kind of gambling with as such. This is just me doing a bit of an experiment with investing in a different scenario to how I would normally use and invest my money within my stocks and shares ISA. So on my homepage, you can see my portfolio is particularly small. So at the moment it is worth, as I am recording this, £35.95. Most of that has come from referring people for shares and I have added, I think I've added a couple of £5 here and there. So you can see that the amount of money that's in there at the moment is really small. And the reason for that is I'm still kind of figuring out the app itself, I'm still trying to figure out just how I want this to work. So you can see that, you can see the kind of ups and downs that it goes and that's absolutely normal for the stock market it goes up and down if i scroll down a bit further you can see the list of investments that i have so netflix is something that i invested in myself and you can see that if i click on this that the cost of netflix normally is 516 dollars per share which is an insane amount of money i have put in a whole five pound and you can see that that's got me 0.013 of a share, which is not a lot, is it? Let's be honest. So I bought that, it cost me £4.99 to buy that share. And that is just an example of something I wouldn't invest in in my stocks and shares ISA purely because the platform that I use doesn't allow fractional shares, and obviously that's a massive amount per one share. So that's something that I've been thinking about. The other one that I've done is in Fiverr, so you can see actually that's gone down since I invested in that, and that's absolutely fine. That's what happens in the stock market after all. I bought that for five pound and a penny, and at the moment as it stands, it's gone down a bit, but that's okay. It's gone down six pence since I bought it, but that's 1.17%. And you can see there, Again, it's a fractional share, it's slightly more of a share than the Netflix one, but there you go. And then if I go back again and look on my insights, you can see that I am at the moment 90% in stocks. Now that is much higher than I am in my stocks and shares ISA, but this experiment will be purely stocks alone. I don't intend to invest in any funds. The only reason why I've got that in there at the moment is because I got a free one from someone referring me and then I referred someone else and they used my referral link. 
So if I just share what I've got in here so far, so I've got Netflix and Fiverr, so all the rest of these are the free shares that I've got already. So I've not invested in any of these on purpose. These are the things that I've got from referring other people. And they're probably things that I wouldn't really invest in, but I've got them at the moment. I am looking to look at investing in more tech shares. Again, not something that I maybe would do in my ISA, but in this, because you can do fraction shares, I intend to. So things like if you go on Discover, so this is how you search of, you can see the recently viewed ones. So I've recently viewed Tesla because they're share price is insane and I was just looking at that as an, an as an option but there are loads of things you can look at here and lots of different ones to invest in and also it tells you things like popular sh stocks and it also does things like green energy the tech titans as they call them there's US stocks there's, there's lots of things to discover so I'm really kind of enjoying the process of starting again because I've had my stocks and shares I for so long now, it was a bit daunting to start again, but because I'm investing such small amounts and I'm okay with that, then I will continue for now. So that is my free trade portfolio. Again, like I said, I'm gonna put some of my side hustle income into that as an experiment. It is money that I'm willing to lose because in the stock market, obviously things get up and down. You have to be willing to take that risk. I am willing to take that risk with those small amounts purely because my stocks and shares ISA is what I put in our bigger investments if you like. But I am enjoying using an app and I am enjoying the fractional shares bit of that. I do intend to kind of update you on this experimental portfolio in the free trade app. If you would like me to do so leave a comment down below and let me know. But it is an interesting journey and this is purely for fun. I am not investing in dividend income paying stocks particularly. If they happen to pay dividends then great but that's not what I'm focusing on. I'm looking at investing in some of the bigger companies where I can do this fractional shares thing. I need to decide in a way how much money I'm going to put in there. I've kept putting £5 in at a time. But I don't know whether to say I'm going to put £20 a month in and do one transaction. Now it doesn't have any fees to do transactions like my other one does. So that's maybe a good thing. But I will see how it goes. I am not used to putting such small amounts in and I'm not used to being able to do that more often. I tend to do one transaction a month in my stocks and shares. I set it to minimise fees but also I also do it on payday because I do the pay yourself first method. So I will keep you updated on my experimental portfolio. Let me know in the comments down below if you think this is a good idea or whether you think that I'm absolutely mad for even suggesting that. And yeah, we'll see how it goes, see where it gets me. See if I can invest in something that goes up like Amazon does. You never know, do you? You never know with investing where it might get you. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again very soon.